Here we are at the replica of the Ford Motor Company in Greenfield Village, and they are demonstrating the starting of the kitchen sink engine that Henry Ford brought in on Christmas Eve 1893 when Edsel was a baby and started while Clara was working on Christmas dinner. And we're gonna go over there and see if we can hear him. There's a lot of commotion, train going by, there's a fire engine running around here, keeps blowing its whistle and everything, but we're gonna see if we can hear him demonstrate this engine and then I'll take you over into the museum and show you the original one that he actually did clamp down to the kitchen sink. Thank you. So, <laughs> there he goes, yeah. So, what this is, is Henry Ford's kitchen sink engine. Have you heard of that? I yeah. have. So, so, Henry Ford, uh, actually this is a replica of his engine. This was built by our staff here at the Henry Ford in 2021 for us to demonstrate. Now what this is all about is in 1891, Henry Ford leaves the farm to start and find his fame and fortune in the city of Detroit. So he actually gets a job working at Edison Illuminating Company, the power plant that generated all the electricity for the city of Detroit, a company that Thomas Edison owned. Henry Ford gets a job there, working indirectly for Edison, right here in Detroit. And he's hired to be a steam engine mechanic slash machinist. And while he's working there, he's reading about other people attempting to build a horseless carriage. And he thought, I'd like to do that. I'm a machinist. I should be able to do that. So he starts uh, gathering up uh, various items at his disposal after he's ruled out steam because he, he needs a, 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 an engine for his car, right? So he's ruled out steam because you have to have a boiler and fuel and water and stuff and you have to monitor it close otherwise it could, it could blow up. He's, he's ruled out electric because the batteries weren't sealed up like they are today and you're spilling acid all over and that's not good. But he reads about Nicholas Augusta Otto, who invented and patented the internal combustion engine in 1876. And he thought, that's what I need. A small, compact motor to power my horseless carriage. So he gathers up pipe and tubing and check valves, a discarded hand wheel from a lake. He gathers all these things up into that shed right there that was originally behind a two-family duplex that the Fords were renting half of at 58 Bagley Avenue in Detroit. And while he's tinkering with this in that shed, he makes a major breakthrough on Christmas Eve, 1893. He's now ready to start his engine for the very first time, but he can't do it alone. He needs the help of his wife, Clara. And she's in the kitchen cooking a large Christmas dinner because her side of the family, the Bryants, are coming to see the new baby, Edsel, for the very first time. So she's not coming out of that kitchen for nothing. So what does Henry do? He drags this engine into the kitchen, clamping it to the counter or the sink board. Then he needs an ignition source to create a spark for his engine. So he runs a wire from his makeshift spark plug up to the electric light socket hanging from the ceiling, running another wire from the engine to a water pipe to ground it. So now he's completed that circuit, 120 volts DC current for his spark. Then he turns to his wife, Clara, can you quit basting that turkey you're working on? I need you to drip gasoline into this intake valve while I spin the flywheel. So I'm going to attempt to show you what happened in the Ford kitchen on Christmas Eve, 1893. We need Clara. Yeah. 
There it goes. So once the engine started, that was a defining moment for Henry Ford, the beginning of his automotive career. So we'll try and start it again. So I think I still flooded. It. <laughs> ah, she's running. The defining moment for Henry Ford. Three years later, he builds his first car, the quadricycle, that we have a replica of in this building. The original is in the museum today. So it's safe for me to say on Christmas Day, the Ford family and the Bryant family enjoyed smoked turkey for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'll take you guys through here, through the Ford Motor Company replica, where sits the 15 millionth Model T. This was the last Model T to roll off the line here in Dearborn, and there would be no more. Six months later would come the Model A. So that is the 15 millionth Model T that Edsel drove off the line with Henry sitting in the passenger seat. And here is a cutout of the Model T engine. Now we'll walk around here to the Bagley Avenue workshop where Henry actually came up with his first quadricycle. Yep, this is a replica of his Bagley Avenue workshop that was out back of the duplex that him and Clara were renting. And it shows that he had to knock the wall out to get the car out because the car wouldn't fit out the door. So let's go over to the museum and check out the original kitchen sink engine. All right, here we are in the museum. Right around the corner here, there's a picture of Henry and Clara and Edsel. One of my first videos I did on here was a walk through this museum. I can put at the end of this video for you guys to see. That kitchen sink engine, the original one, is right back here. There's Lammy's Diner. Had a soda in there yesterday. So let's see, Edsel was born on November 6th, 1893. So this would have been Christmas Eve, 1893, that Clara was fixing Christmas dinner for her parents. Now we got somebody standing over there. I'm gonna have to pause it a bit. Okay, there it is. That is the original kitchen sink engine that Henry Ford built with parts gathered up from Edison Illuminating Company and clamped to the kitchen sink on Christmas Eve, 1893, when Edsel was a baby and Clara was working on Christmas dinner for her parents to come and see their new grandson. So. 
that's the story of the kitchen sink engine so let's go over here and see how far it came by 1932 okay so over here is the first flathead to roll off of the assembly line and I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on this tag for you guys where it says this is V8 number one motor hold for Mr. H Ford so there you go we go from 1893 to his first engine that he built clamped to the, the kitchen sink on Christmas Eve to this in 1932, an engine that Bonnie and Clyde and John Burroughs and all the gangsters wanted to get their hands on when they wanted to steal a car to get away. So now we'll go back out to the village and I'll show you where this engine here was developed secretly. So this is it. This is Thomas Edison's laboratory that Henry Ford had moved here from Fort Myers, Florida and actually built him another one down in Fort Myers, Florida so he could have this one. Yeah, so this building right here is where it all happened. Thomas Edison's laboratory from Fort Myers, Florida. Henry Ford actually told his best engineers that they were fired and they were walked off the job and they actually thought that they had lost their jobs. That's how big of a secret this was. He didn't want anyone knowing it. And then later they were approached and said, uh, by the way, you're not really fired. Uh, this is what's going on. We're gonna develop this one piece V8 engine block and I need your guys' help to do it. So this is where it was all done, secretly at night. You guys can come up here to the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan and see all this for yourselves at the Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village. I hope you enjoyed this short video of the kitchen sink engine from 1893 to the V8 in 1932. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.